I started working with my coach in Australia and these drills single-handedly like trans started to transform my golf game and all my swing is now developed around these kind of techniques but mm -hmm. there is kind of like a three-stage process to it initially what we do is you just grab the club just in your left hand and it's all about kind of keeping your arm pressure grip pressure really nice and soft yeah so what it should look like and then I'll show you what you'll probably do um, right so if you kind of keep it nice and soft rotate away and then what we're going to do we're actually going to let the club go and throw it into the towels okay yeah so it's take it away and then I'm going to turn through and you'll notice kind of two things that you see there is that the towels have gone straight down mm -hmm. but you'll notice the clubs also gone straight down yeah so there's two things that I will expect you to, to see from you initially when you do it. So you'll either be really bad at it <laughs> and really underneath. Yeah. Which means what you'll do is you'll pull that hard and be that under it. You'll stick the club into the ground because yeah. there's no rotation and you're pulling down. The second part of it that you'll see is what you'll do. You'll hold on and the club will go left. Okay. So that would be a better version. All right. That would be what I would have expected to see had I have not had I have not explained those things. That's what I would expect to see. I might still be expecting to see yeah, that. Yeah, we might do. Yeah, <laughs> we might see it. Um, but yeah, so this. So if you just kind of again, do you want me to show you one more time yeah, so yeah, you can see it? Right. So just in your left hand, really soft arm and grip. I'm going to take it where my left pec is. What it's going to feel like, and then all I'm going to do is just whip it down the line. And you'll notice I'm very rotary, heads forwards, and then my arm's nice and soft, so it whips in doesn't hold on and ends up in a nice position. So that's the first stage of it. So I just get you ever miss a towel and chuck the club over there? I've had two people <laughs> hit them into the hedges. I personally, the first time that I did it was doing it on a mat and the club bounced and hit me in the chin. <laughs> um, so yeah, try not to do it on, on the mats and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so if you just kind of want to hold it in one hand and just give it a go. And uh, I'm going to get my phone as well. So stand here, yeah? Yeah, so you just kind of put the club on the ground just behind, that's it. Yeah. And then literally from there, you're going to take it back just left-handed and you're going to try and throw the club into those towels. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you'll notice that's better than the other one, but you'll notice the club's gone left and yeah. long. Yeah. So what that's telling me is, grip pressure's too tight. Right. Yeah. And your, and your initial movement on the way down is pulling. Yeah. So, <clears throat> again, all I'd want you to do on the next one, do the exact same thing, but literally feel like you, the club could come out of your hand at any point. So, okay. And also, so your kind of arm pressure in here mm -hmm. and the grip pressure should probably be at about two or three. Right. Again, and then, and then try it again. So literally keep that really soft. Yeah. Turn it away and turn. That's it. And you'll notice the club's gone straighter. Still held on a little bit too much, yeah. but it's, it's gone straighter down the line, which means that the way that you're kind of throwing it in is by pulling it in a little bit still too much. If I get that kind of from here, whip from here right. to bang, yeah. that kind of feeling. That's what's kind of going to let you drill it into and it will kind of finish where mine did almost. It's more of like a tightness of pivot thing. Okay. So again, even when you're here, feel the knee position, Yeah. And then whip it in. So soft arm, soft grip, knee position, and then rotate and then whip it in. There you go, perfect. Right, so now all of a sudden, three swings later, you've got the correct movement. So if you do it one more time for me, and I'll get it on camera then what we'll do is, I'll compare that to your initial swing that you made and then show you the difference in the head positions and stuff. Okay. So knee position and then whip it in. Perfect. Right, so if you now come and have a look at this, just straight away, what you're going to notice by doing this, as you take it away, knee position's 50% better. Mm -hmm. Could still go more with that. Yeah. But then on the way through, look, at, which is probably why your shoulders are, still, are going to be a little bit still under it. But look at your head position. You notice now it's the bill of your cap starting to look forwards. Yeah. So you're not stuck underneath it with your head in your upper body now. So you're starting to be able to rotate that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why we do this drill. And then what we do over the process, and look at your lower body movement. So it kind of kicks out slightly now because it had still kicked in a little bit. Yeah, yeah definitely. But then look, but then you post up through that part of your body, grab the ground, and then you can rotate. Mm. So there you go. Mate, this is great as well because, you know, even if nobody's there, you can kind of just chuck your towels down or your smash bag or whatever, and you can just kind of diagnose yourself. Yeah. That's why it's so good. Yeah, yeah. So, so how often would you do it? This, I, mate, honestly, when I first come back from Australia <coughs> uh, two years ago, so I came back, had no card on anything, but had no money, 
and then I basically went to uh, some qualifiers in Czech Republic, which is what pretty much started everything for me. And I probably spent, I don't know, maybe six weeks practicing before I went out to Czech Republic, mm. and I didn't go on the range once. Right. All I did was an hour and a half a day on this, and then I went into a net and just kind of tried to video my swing a lot and really see if I could see, like, if you were videoing yourself from face on, now it's like, right, am I getting more here? Yeah. Am I rotary and kind of keeping my arms soft and rotating? Um, and I did loads of work basically just doing this because I was like, well, if I go and hit balls, I know what I'm going to do. At least if I use this, I know what I'm going to create. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that I basically spend, even still now, I probably spend, I don't know, probably three, four hours a week on this just to make sure that I'm pivoting correctly yeah. um, and stuff like that. So the next stage for it, we'll go into the next stages. Okay. So Because there's three stages to it. The second stage would be basically just two hands, same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's keeping the grip really soft, the arms are really light. From there, left leg stays a little bit more there for you. Yeah. And then exactly the same thing. Okay. You'll notice again, club stays quite short because I'm not holding on to it at all. Yeah. But I will show you the third stage of it as well. So what normally happens with people is when they do this stage, is that when they throw it in, what happens is their left arm, so as they throw it in here, what happens is they go, and their left arm finishes round here and the right hand finishes here. Right. That's fine, as long as the club's doing the right stuff, but to go to the last level of the smash bag stuff, basically you need to tighten your pivot up a lot more. And again, like I said, all this kind of stuff's come from my coaches and stuff like that, and they use these techniques and things, and this has been what I've done over a three, kind of, I've worked out, it's almost like a three-stage thing, and that's what I've gone through. Yeah. The last stage, really, just to make sure that your, your pivot's even kind of tighter, is you're almost going to feel like you're going to cut your follow-through off. Um, so it's really, really, really relaxed arms, whip it in. And then you'll notice that my hands stay almost together okay, yeah. and they're a lot lower finish and you can hear the speed even yeah. into that there. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of the three stages of it. But yeah, these are the secrets. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you want to have a go now, just two-handed. Two-handed, not yeah. there. Yeah, you, don't worry about kind of cutting the follow-through off just yet. Like that'll be something that you'll kind of, as you get better at it, yeah. you'll start to kind of improve. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of away and then soft arms and then whip it. There you go. See that? So what you'll start feeling, and I'll just video one, so do it one more time, and the way I want it to almost feel is that your arms are as soft as they could possibly be, you're going to keep your legs strong here, left pet just turns away, and then from here you're going to whip it in, your head's going to, it's going to come this way, and then you're going to let it go. Okay. So the big key thoughts of it are softness, yeah. and then you're trying to get there, yeah. not that way. Okay. Right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. There you go. That's better. There you go. <laughs> All right, so straight away, left knee stays in a good position that time. Much less lateral movement. You'll notice that you've now almost a straight line through here. Yeah. So through your lead shoulder and lead knee, rather than your lead knee being miles ahead. Head's looking more forwards. Keep rotating. Boom. Bit of club face control there for you. And then, boom, all together. All the way into a finish. It looks better, doesn't it? Easy. <laughs> it just looks a lot more. It just looks a lot freer, doesn't it? A lot more stable. Like yeah. If you watch that as a full motion, yeah. A lot less going on. Yeah, yeah. There's way less sway off there it. There you go. And then that's how you get in all the. That's how we'll get the club face control and stuff. Yeah. When I'm doing those movements, is that's about the softness and getting more rotary. So it's more this way. But obviously, when I'm playing, it's like the smash bag's not there. So a good drill that I do before every swing when I'm playing is to go step back step through yeah, but I'm stepping I'm stepping through once I get to about here okay so it's step here push, bang. and what you'll notice is obviously everything's going forwards I've got my chin where I've kind of explained where I want it to be I'm strong here and then what I'm doing I'm grabbing the ground posting up and then I'm rotating into this kind of position but the thing you'll notice every time that I do it is I'm hitting the ground. Right. So something I'll do a lot of the time when I'm stood hanging around waiting for other players to hit or whatever is I stand there and I'm almost kind of just going back to here and I'm just feeling that kind of motion. Mm -hmm. 
because I'm trying to feel the ground. And sometimes, like when I'm on the range, you know, if I'm struggling a little bit, I'll literally just hit some balls kind of with a little half a backswing and then bang, and I'll just, from there, it's half a backswing. And I'll just hit that kind of shot. And just start feeling my body starting to rotate and work. Um, and the reason that I like to do that is just, I know that I'm starting to get this bit right then and my motion's going forwards and there's nothing getting long, hanging back here. Because that timing, it should almost kind of be bang, bang. Like, do you know what I mean? That's, as soon as it starts going back, it's, I'm already going. Yeah. And that's how it should start to feel. And that's why that's so good. But the step through drill is brilliant. Don't hit balls like that. That's just a feeling. And then at the side of the ball, once you've got that kind of feeling, you can kind of, before you hit a ball, go step, step, feel that ground, feel the speed. So you're doing um, like set up, step, step. So I go from here, I set up, I go step, turn. As the club feels like it's about here, right. I step again. Right. And then from there, I work around. And you'll notice how soft my upper body is. And my body, when it's that soft, almost finishes kind of all the way up and my arms are really soft and yeah. they're flopping around. There's no kind of pulling down. When you're playing, do you still feel that kind of two out of ten Mate, softness? I'm not joking, like, like arms and as grip. soon as I feel more than that, I just literally hit it left all the time. Mm. Um, because it just, I get so pulley and steep that for me, I almost feel like an honest, like this is an honest kind of uh, show of what I actually do. If I was about to hit a shot on, on tour right now, that's how tight my grip pressure would be. Pull against that. Yeah? yeah, that's how tight it is. So it's really, t it's really, and then if I kind of hit one just with that kind of grip pressure, so it's that kind of soft, and then that allows my body to rotate. So if you want to kind of try and get a feel for that step through drill until we've got it. Yeah. Um, so again, so you're going to kind of take a step back, that's it, and then you're going to take the club back, step, and then the last bit of it, you've got to hit the ground before yeah. you hit one. So. So it's you're ready. At, you're at dress, right? Everything's yeah. Nice so soft. once you're there, it's literally one. Are you actually taking? Yeah. Oh, right. So it's one go, bang, go. Okay. So it's almost right step, turn, step. That's it. And then again, then we'll just get it a bit quicker. So it's almost like bang, bang, bang. That's almost the feeling. So it's one, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. And then the last bit hit the mat. So it's one. Take it away. As the club feels like it's literally just starting to go right. away, then step forwards. Okay. So it's step. Go step, perfect. Right, and then the last one I just I want to hear more down. I literally want to feel like yeah. I want I want to hear that sound that I was creating. So back step, that's it. Right, and then go into the ball. Right, so now we're back hitting the ball. Obviously, we've got to think a bit more about the leg. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's just if I just do one more swing. So do a back back swing again. I want you to fit, make sure we're focusing on that again. Good. Perfect. Right. So now hit me a ball. And what I want you to imagine is your arms are nice and soft, like you're on the bag. Yeah. I want you to then work, feel your knee position, stay steady, and then I want you to whip it in. Okay. <coughs> then just keep them soft, and then don't forget from there, we're not putting down, we're keeping my, that here. Then we're going to imagine that then we're starting to get those positions that we have in the smash bag. And then nice and strong on your knee, soft arms, and then whip it in. Interesting. Sounded better, but mm -hmm. I'll show you that. Yeah, sure. Just need to give it time just to relax off a little bit. Yeah. So you can just give me one of the step through drills. And then just hang on one second. Right, you ready? Do it one more time. Yeah. Right, so you're gonna go right foot, take it away, left foot go. Ready? Okay, one more, and hit the mat. Okay, so right foot, take, left foot. So what it starts to do is it starts to change your momentum and look at your head and then it posts up and then you rotate. Right. So it's the head position that's the big thing. If your head previously was like that, and then look at that. So it's a completely different motion yeah. to what it was literally like an hour ago. But the, but what we've got to get you doing is, is we've just got to get you moving. It's just got to be soft arms you need to get the body working. So it's almost that feeling of the smash bag. Yeah. So again, just into the ball. <coughs> just focus completely, just really concentrate on that knee again. Yeah. So literally, as much as you, you literally want to almost feel like your knee's going to go that way for you. 
don't let it kick in whatsoever and then from there you're just going to keep it soft and you're going to you're going to feel like you're just going to throw it into that bag So I'll give it six balls, I reckon. You know, just for your body to adapt to it. Yeah. I'll give it six balls before you hit the one that we're looking for. <laughs> so yeah, same thing. So relax. I'd really, really exaggerate that knee position, and I want you to imagine you're whipping it into that, whipping it into the bag. Closer. Getting there. Yeah, almost. I said six. All right. I don't think it would be that many. I think it'd be four. Just look at the distance on that one. Yeah. Yeah. You weren't. That wasn't. That was almost. But it's already, it went longer than all the ones you hit earlier on. Closer. So in soft arms, really restrict the knee, and then rotate. Okay. One more. I think. Well, it was a soft on the way back. I'm still tempted to like. Yeah, they will be. Up yeah, they will it. be. It's because here it's like your only way of normally getting back to the ball, which is what I said to you before we started, is to go. Yeah. Whereas we need you to go here and then imagine the smash bag, bang, yeah. watch it in. So it's that change of direction. So you're really soft at address and then you're going to really restrict, like feel like the knees as much as you can and then really rotate. There you go. Right, it's the same thing. So really restrict the knees, soft arms and then we're just going to rotate, imagine you're hitting the back. Said four, didn't I? <laughs> Perfect. And again, you'll notice again it's jumped a little bit further than the others. You know, like early when you were happy with the dispersion, that's where all of a sudden adding this movement in will gain the yardage as well. Yeah. And that was kind of the, the pieces. So the direction comes from this bit. If you get like that, you're going to kick out, you're going to get under, you can't turn, you're going to pull. If you, once you've got that position, it's then getting the smash back feels. Yeah. And then whip it through. Like I said, when you're on that smash bag, start below the left-handed because that gets you kind of feeling that it's soft and then you're actually having to almost work it away this way to work it back through. That's it. Yeah. And then what we should start seeing over the weeks is that everything starts getting a lot more around rather than under here, up this way, yeah. and then around. And then. But yeah, that's what I, that shot, you, the last one you hit, the last two really, would be what I'd expect to see. Yeah, it feels like there's less effort going into it. It, does, it literally does feel like, doesn't it? Like this is the way I explained it to somebody last night. I was playing with Joel last night. She said, "I literally feel like when I'm swinging at my best. Like I'm literally going in." That's literally what it feels like. Yeah. Don't feel like much can go wrong. Yeah. Right. So hit another one. Yeah, just kind of, just really kind of feel as extreme as you can. So I almost don't want you to feel the club. Yeah. Okay. So go. Perfect. So give me as much of that as you can when you hit it, and then from there I want you to keep the arms soft and I want you to feel like on the way down you're almost just going to whack the smash bag, okay? So as soft as you can, restrict the knee as much as you can, and then whip it in. Okay. Better body movement, just a little bit of that. So see that one just where it comes down slightly too steep. So the problem is you're going that way, it's slightly too steep, so it just, it just kind of pushes a little bit. Yeah. But it's not bad. But that's kind of that. That's just why you didn't get the shake. Because if, if I was to have camera like videoed that one, that's where it's just not quite through the floor. That'd be where it's just a little bit steep on the way down. Right. But the strike's good because the body movement's decent. Yeah, as much as you can in the in the lead knee, and then literally from there, keep it soft and whip it into the bag. Just feels like it's less going on. <coughs> yeah. Like for the last few weeks, I feel like it's quite hard to hit a golf shot. Everything, yeah. Man, just, managing just to find the club base. I just feel like I'm managing every swing. Like obviously you're not because you're in time, but yeah. I feel like okay, shit, what am I doing? Yeah. How am I getting this there? Yeah. Um, Whereas when I'm playing well, it's just like it's a swing. Thing that's kind of visible from behind you as well that you cut probably not going to be able to sit on the cameras is um you know kind of like because you can't really see timing and stuff on cameras but you know when i was first watching it it almost looks like it kind of it looks so long and almost kind of flicky at the top yeah and then it's whereas now it doesn't look like that because you because you're holding that here it's almost like the direction the, the timing's changed yeah um so there's less of the kind of collapsing at the top going on yeah um which is good to see 
they have always had that weird little thing at the top. Yeah. Like, yeah, it doesn't look like that. Huh? Yeah. I think part of that's thinking about the softness as yeah. well. The thing is, if, you, if your hands and your arms are soft, there's nothing to go like that with. Yeah. It's only pressure that can possibly grip down. The minute I do that to a club, then, kind of, if you notice from here, if I keep it soft and just turn, so my grip and that soft, and I rotate, it kind of wants to fall this way. Yeah. So then I can get shallow. When the only thing that kind of gets the club to stand up, if I if I grip, it, it always works yeah. steeper. Yeah. And that's kind of what it is. Yeah, when you're trying and to that's take when people it. say about cupping wrists and stuff coming down. If I grip, that does cut, yeah. that pulls down. So that's where you get your open face and and puff and, and the steepness. <clears throat> so again, soft arms, restrict the knee as much as you can and then throw it in the bag. Get it more that way. So from here, you want to get more this way. Rotate into the bag. That's what it's going to feel. If we just go, so do, just pass it your um, back club. Right, go and throw me one into the bag two-handed. And then literally, kind of timing-wise, I want you literally just to come straight back in and then hit me a ball. Yeah. So you're going to throw it in, one, get it right on the on, on the smash bag. That's it, and then come straight back in. And then right away, and all I want you to do, obviously, restrict the knee, and then get, get me that feeling. So I don't care about goal thoughts and stuff like that, I just want you to athletically do what you've just done. So restrict the knee, and then whip it in like it's a smash bag. Okay, and do it one more time. But it's taking that timing out of it and stuff like that as well. See, I love doing this. It's just kind of going straight drill to ball, drill to yeah, so you can get the feeling. So even on these drills, you, I want you feeling the knee position. Yeah. So again, feel the knee, then whip it in. That's it. Good. Perfect. I really like that. And it could go straight down that time. Yeah. Right. So on here, you're going to feel the exact same thing. Nothing. Nothing changes. The knee as much as you can, and then you're going to whip that club in. That's the best one today, isn't it? Quite hard on, but yeah, it's solid. It's pure, isn't it? That? Yeah. That's like, it's not a high launch, like kind of like yeah. that. It's like, yeah. hit. Yeah. yeah. But that's because again, it's like, yeah, whipping. It'd be interesting for you to kind of watch this thing on here, right? You know, when you're watching them, yeah, it'd be interesting. But they're all a lot more solid than they have been for ages. Yeah. Again, it's because there's a lot less variables. Yeah. A lot less variables than. Not as fast as you do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but again, though, even all this stuff, man, I'm not claiming any of this information is mine. This yeah. is just for me being lucky enough to spend time with like Chris Howe in Australia. Um, so he's, he's your coach? Yeah, Chris Howe in Australia, he's at Royal Sydney. Right. Um, and he's just, he's incredible, man. Like, he's been, a, I was just so lucky. Yeah. Um, and uh, I've had kind of three years, really, that I've been seeing him now. Um, and all this kind of stuff. See, I started doing these kind of things like three years ago, and I, I'm still not kind of saying that like I can do all these drills well enough. I still, I still struggle with the same stuff. But it's what you've got to remember is, mate. You've got your habits. You're always going to have them. But it's about controlling them. Yeah. So if your habits are to kind of go this way, this way, that way, and stuff like that, like, and you want to get more rotary, like, you just got to manage this, and then manage this bit, and get you getting more through here. Then you'll just be laughing. Yeah, like that's funny you, um, you said that thing before, I think it might have been on a video where I think a lot of people are like expecting to build a new swing and then yeah. that to be it. Yeah. Whereas you're like, you're always going to have bad tendencies yeah. and on a daily or weekly basis, you're yeah. going to be managing them. Always managing them. Yeah. I'm still doing the same. I don't get me wrong, my swing looks completely different than what it did four or five years ago. Like, I used to literally be like, I used to be like this. Yeah. And then I used to drive really hard and then whip the life out of it. Like that's how I used to swing it, like a bit John Day yeah. um, I do look a lot different now, but those tendencies, like, when it, those things that they caused on the downswing are still there. Yeah. Um, so I'm still managing those things. Um, and like I said, that's, it can be day to day. Yeah. Like where you're like, oh, I've not hit a great today, or oh my God, I've flushed it today, you got the next thing, can't hit a cow's ass with a banjo. Like, yeah. like take faith in the fact that, but the, the difference I'd say is, is kind of, when I was going to that old Woodbury event, I only figured out what I was doing the night before, but I knew straight away how good that felt. Right. So I can go from that to the next day and then lead in the golf tournament. Yeah. Whereas a lot of people won't have the belief in that 
to be able to go the next day and completely yeah. know that they've changed it. Yeah. Um, and kind of, I was sort of literally talking to kind of uh, the scratch golf that I talk about quite a bit. Joel, like he's a, he's a good friend of mine, and he is one of those people that every message he sends, it's like, oh god, that's gonna need that's gonna need a lot of work, isn't it? And you're like, no, mate. Like, if, as long as you try and do, put the principles into it tomorrow, yeah, I could change that with you. Well, you've really got to look kind of how much you've managed to change a visual of your swing in half an hour or an hour, mm. like you can make those changes in an hour, it doesn't need to take six months. Yeah, you have to completely rebuild everything. Even just that left knee thing, like the first three balls that I hit, okay, they might not have been perfect, yeah. but they're better than the shots I've been hitting for the last three weeks yeah. with a swing that I've you know, yeah. built exactly. and ingrained for, yeah, yeah. for ages. Yeah. It's just having that bit of direction. And like I said, even this kind of stuff, like how nice would it be for you to be able to go, oh, I didn't hit it good today, go out in the back garden, yeah. Get on your smash bag, and you, you know if you all of a sudden hit one in your smash bag, and the club goes ping into the left. Yeah. I need to I need to loosen my grip off, and then all of a sudden you, you go loosen your grip off, whip it in the bag, it goes down the middle, you, and then you've all of a sudden then a cured your own problem, which is what you need to be able to do if you want to get better. Because when you're out on a golf course, you haven't got somebody there with a smash bag to tell you, so you need to be able to feel those things. So if you know that all of a sudden, right, that and hitting behind the smash bag means steep but then all of a sudden if I keep it soft and whip it in that means I'm going to hit it shallower if you're on the course and you hit one that like pull hooks because you know it's steep you can then just go I'll just put the piece in about softening my arms up and then I'll hit it better and trust it um, but yeah that's all it is mate. it's just putting the pieces together and the picture together and it really isn't overly complicated yeah. <laughs> um, like, and that's what I've learned I used to get so technical of God, the club's got to be outside my hands here. I've then got to get it through my shoulder here. Yeah. I've then got to get to there, but I can't have it across the lines. I've got to have it. My, my wrist got to be here and a bit more laid yeah. off. And then on the way down, I've got to, I've got to then turn hard left, bow my wrist a bit more, get the club through my forearm, yeah. turn hard. Uh, See, that's like the worst I play. The more I end up like watching videos, trying to pick up things like that. Yeah. And it's like, okay, I've now got 54 things that I know I'm doing yeah. wrong. I need to get them right. And it's like. Can't even get that right in the net, let alone hit the ball on the range, let alone yeah. on the course. course when it matters. You've got yeah. a slightly different lie, a bit of wind or anything. Yeah. It, that feels like a million miles away from ever being yeah. like something I'm going to be able to know. Yeah. The biggest advice I can give is swing thoughts don't work, swing feelings do. Yeah. So you know, under pressure, if you're trying to think your golf swing, it ain't going to work. Whereas if you've got a feeling like, for example, I'm on about the step throughs and that, I'm like under pressure, like, God, as long as I step through, I let a good shot, and I believe that. Yeah. So that works, <laughs> so, and and it's kind of or, or knowing that okay, as long as I keep my arms soft, I know I can't pull down, so I know I can't hit the hundred yard hook or the hundred yard block. Because yeah. at my speed, I I am very capable of hitting it hundred yards offline either way. Yeah. And um, but knowing that if I just soften my arms up, I'm good to go. Luckily, understanding what I do got me through it, and that's where you this stuff. It looks quite trivial, but and that's worth doing, you know, if somebody can't get to the range to do oh, mate, half an hour of that in the garden. Go and work half an hour of that in the garden. And if, if you work with a tripod and a camera, like look where you are at the start and then look where you are at the end. I guarantee your body movement's about. Because yeah. um, that's all this is. It's about the body. Like I've found the more my body works properly, I don't have to. Mate, I couldn't tell you the last time I looked in a mirror or put a line on my golf swing yeah. for planes and stuff like that. Because as long as my body's working alright all that stuff seems to take care of itself mm. <laughs> uh, do you know, I don't have to worry about all that kind of stuff all I've got to, work, all I've got to worry about is getting my body moving yeah. as long as I'm doing that I generally don't hit awful golf shots yeah. um, so you, yeah you talk about that like when everything's soft your left pec feels like it's yeah it feels like it initiates so it's basically so your arms don't lead the back swing because once your arms start leading generally they'll stay leading so if I take it away in my arms first nine times out of ten from here because they've then got all the momentum number one it normally gets a bit long yeah. but number two then they generally start the downswing as well and then that's when all all I'm really trying to do with everything is stopping that pulling motion in transition that's everything that I do is based around avoiding that right. um, because as long as I don't do that it's going to come down shallow enough I'll be able to make some form of contact with it yeah. um, it's that position here that kind of starts killing everybody because they're stuck and then they have to start trying to get the centre of mass back this way so start getting that way and flipping um, but yeah that's what that's what it all tailors it for um, it's, 
this is so easy. <laughs> but isn't it? Like it literally is. So isn't it? easy. Yeah. But, but in regards to kind of, it's so easy to. You don't need me there because that tells you what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. club goes left, or you hit it behind. Yeah. You know, you steep. So yeah. then you also know from the lesson from what we've just discussed today, you know that if that happens, you know how to sort it out. So yeah. if you're if you're turning it over too much, you know to kind of do the step through and hit the ground. You've got to get that posting up in the ground to stabilise the club base. So you're starting to get answers for every miss that you've got. So when you're out on the course, you'll also have those same answers. So you're not stood there going to try and change your whole swing on the course. All you'll do is go, right, to get myself around before I can get on the range again, I'm just going to do the step through before and just focus on that. And you're not thinking about your golf swing as such. You're just thinking about how to control the bit that's not working. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's that. Well, yeah. Do you want a couple more? Uh, yeah, should we say you hit one? Yeah, so watch me hit one. Yeah, well, that's what people want, mate. They don't want to watch me hit it, do they? <laughs> nice. Not too bad, that, was it? Oh, nice day for you. Yeah, nice, aren't they? Yeah. I really like the KBS shafts as well. I know everything that I'm going to tell you. So I know this shit works. Mm. This stuff works. Do you know what I mean? Like for everybody. Any player in the world could add that into their game and I guarantee you it would make it better. Yeah. Then you look at the knee stuff. Lee Westwood at the minute. Every practice session, I stood next to him whilst he was doing it, funnily enough. And I, was, I laughed to my dad and my dad laughed at me because I, like, I was watching what he was doing. And I was like, that's what I did two weeks ago. Because he stood there with a band around his knees yeah. and he's feeling that in his knees. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, and he's probably the straightest ball striker you'll ever see. Yeah. And that's what that's going to help you with. That's going to get your straightness. The thing that's going to get you your power, strike, and speed will be this. So at a dress, keep it soft as anything. Feel the knee as strong as you can, and then literally from there, then feel like you sling it in the back. There you go. And then you get that different sound, and you get the different sound, and you get the different shape. There's definitely something in there, isn't there? 100%. Right there. That's hundred percent what it is. Like if you worked on those things and those principles, man, I'm telling you, it wouldn't be long before you feel like that. You'll feel really good. Uh, just feel like you re-grip here, so just grip tightly in your hands. You'll notice the club stands yeah, up, up and it goes up. If you now just feel like you're going to let the club go, almost, yeah. you see how it drops down. Yeah, so yeah. that's all about tension. Yeah. So the shaft plane that you're trying to create, so you can try and swing this out as you physically want to shallow it out. Ain't going to make. All you're going to do is, is pull down, and then because you're trying to swing out there, you're going to back up and then try and shallow it. Whereas if you just keep it soft like that, you can then rotate. Simple, mate, honestly. And, and the good thing is you've only got three things you need to control. Yeah. Knee position, tension, and then the pivot. Yeah. And, there's, and we've shown you everything you need to do to control all three of those things. And that wouldn't change whether you come here next week or the month after or whatever. Just those three things. Knee, you can. There you go. Just sounds hit, doesn't it? Yeah, it feels better. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, and that's what everybody that goes away, mate, they all just go like, ah, I think it was too easy. Do you know what I mean? They're like, what about my, what about my, my wrist? Angle? What about my grip? What about this? Yeah. And I'm like, don't worry about it.